in the last lecture we learned what is aggregation framework and when do we use it now in this lecture let's learn how we can write queries using aggregation framework with a simple example and in this lecture i am going to show you a very simple stage called as match stage which we use to filter documents from a collection using aggregation framework so the match stage represented by dollar match operator it is used to filter documents based on specified condition and it operates similar to a find query it allows you to select only the documents that meets a certain criteria let's try to understand it with an example so i'm going to write the query here and in the last lecture we imported some documents in the employees collection so we are going to make use of that employees collection and since we want to query the employees collection here instead of using find method since we want to use aggregation framework we will use aggregate method and to this aggregate method we will pass an array because inside this array we specify all the stages through which we want the document of a collection to go through now we have learned that in aggregation pipeline we can specify multiple stages but the important point to note here is that the first stage will always be applied on the collection and the next stages will be applied on the result of previous stage so if you want to filter documents from a collection and then you want to apply the aggregation stages on the filtered documents then filtering documents should be the first step why because if you filter the documents on the collection in that case if that collection has any index that index will be utilized and it will make the query faster and for that the filter stage should be the first stage because as we learned the first stage will be applied on the documents of the collection and the next stages will be applied on the result of the previous stage so if you want to filter the documents and on that you want to apply the aggregation pipeline then filtering stage should be the first stage so that it can utilize the indexes which we have on the collection and to filter the documents as we learned we have match stage and to use match stage we use dollar match operator to this we assign an object and in that object we can specify the filter criteria so for example here i want to filter all the documents where the gender is male this is my filter criteria but in here you can use any comparison operator or any logical operator which we can use on the find method so for example here you can use greater than operator greater than equal to operator less than operator less than equal to operator in operator not in operator etc you can also use logical operators like or and and not okay so now if i go ahead and if i run this query it should return us all the documents from the employees collection where the gender is male so basically we are filtering all the documents using this match stage where the gender is male if i press enter it has returned us all the documents where the gender is male as you can see so all these documents have gender as male and one more very important point you need to remember here is just like find method this aggregate method also returns us a cursor okay it does not return us all the documents at once instead it returns us a cursor all right now we have learned that we can use same stage multiple times in a aggregation pipeline so for example here i'm using this match stage and i can use this match stage multiple times in the aggregation pipeline so now what we want is from the list of the male employees which this stage has returned us now we want to filter all the male employees whose country is let's say usa so we might have some other employees so you can see the employees country is uk employees country is usa so here i want to filter all the employees all the male employees whose country is usa and for that i can go ahead and i can use another stage another match stage so here my requirement is i want to filter all the documents from the result of this 
first match stage. In the result of this first match stage, we have all the employees whose gender is male. And from that result, now we want to filter all the employees where the country is USA. So here we have the country field. This country field is a property of this embedded document, which is assigned to this address field. So here we are going to access that country field using dot notation. So for that, I'm wrapping the field name within double quotes. And here we can say address dot country. And what should be the country value? Let's say USA. So here this stage, this match stage, it will be applied on the result of previous match stage. And in this case, it will return us all the employees whose gender will be male and the country will be USA. Let's see that. Let me copy this. Let's go ahead and let's clear the shell first. Let me paste the command. And if I press enter, now you will notice that all the employees which it has returned, there the gender is male and the country is USA. Here also the country is USA. If I scroll up, the country is USA. Here also the country is USA country is USA and for other documents also the country will be USA okay so in this way we can use the same stage multiple times in the aggregation pipeline currently in this pipeline we have two stages and both of those stages are match stage but we can also have other stages in this pipeline so in this lecture we learned how we can filter documents in aggregation framework using this match stage using this dollar match operator in the next lecture let's go ahead and let's talk about other stages and let's learn how we can use them in aggregation pipeline this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day